Hello nerdlings, I'm Bethany, and today I'm going to talk about three Korean dramas that you should watch as a science fiction and fantasy writer. The first is Queen in Hyun's Man, and don't worry, I will write the titles in the description so that you can look them up without guessing at the spelling. This drama involves a very smart time travel story and a hero that is smart as well. Competence porn is something that nerds really love, as we discussed at one writer's retreat I was at. We love to see a hero just really kill it at something that they're really good at and be awesome in their own field. And this drama really taps into that. You get to watch a Choson era scholar, basically someone who is highly educated and a part of the government figure out not only his time travel charm and its rules, but also modern Korea. One of my favorite moments, which is not a spoiler, is when he goes into the library to get a Chinese handbook on Korea. Why? He predates the Korean language system, but he reads Chinese characters, so he can use that to his advantage to figure things out, like money and where things are. It's just so beautiful and so hot. The second is Arang and the Magistrate. This story follows a ghost girl, Arang, who is trying to solve her own murder. And at her hijinks as she gets people involved, coerces them into helping her, are just great. Starting with a shaman who can't see spirits, to a magistrate who's newly moved to town who can. So she's very strong-willed and no-nonsense and living in a pretty harsh world as a ghost. So it just all is a really compelling story. But it also involves the Korean mythology as part of its fantasy world building. You get to see the heavenly court and how it's interacting with Arang's quest to find out what happened to her and her desire to get a human form again. And so that is really fascinating. I think seeing a fantasy built in a mythos that you're not familiar with is just really educational as well as stimulating to the brain. I'm pretty sure that this is a bit of a modern twist on the mythology because it involves a really hot and stoic Grim Reaper dude. It's a truly compelling mystery as well as having some truly creepy ghosts and forces of evil, so it all ties together really nicely into a very compelling fantasy story. My third recommendation is Sun Kyung Kwan's Scandal, which is not a fantasy or a science fiction, but it is historical and it is a fusion saguk, which um, is a term for those other historical dramas that kind of add fantasy elements into them, but in this case it's more fusion because it involves some historically inaccurate things. Our heroine is a brilliant scholar masquerading as a dude so that she can get work as a scribe and she gets caught up in helping some people cheat in their exams to enter the Sung Kyung Kwan school. Um, that is the school where they study for the civil servant exam, which is pretty important. And that's something that's also really fascinating to explore with her, like the way that Confucian philosophy dictates to politics and government. This is something that's discussed a lot, especially once she accidentally enters the school because she has an encounter with a righteously indignant rich dude who knows what she's up to. The cheating, that is. He has no idea that she's a girl. One of the staples of Saguk historical dramas is government corruption, and that plays into some modern dramas as well. But in this case, it's something that's being openly discussed, especially because there's class differences between our comrades who are in this school, and it even comes before the king because it's a time of a little bit of upheaval and reformation, and that ties into our hot disreputable ninja type dude who is seeming to not care about anything that goes on in school but actually is crusading by night. So, for the nerd, this story includes philosophy and talking about ideals and Chinese characters and their beauty, and cross-dressing while punishable by death also creates a lot of fun tension. Those are my three top recommendations for Korean dramas for those who are wanting to explore fantasy and science fiction outside of their own culture. But 
I'm sure that I've missed some. So if you have recommendations of things that maybe I haven't watched or things that you think that I totally missed, go ahead and tell me in the comments or on the blog post where I'm going to be expanding a little bit. Thank you for tuning in to Bethany Unlocked.